When you first read the script for the final episode of season four, what was your reaction? Holy fuck. Can I say that? Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Um, and uh, about time. Because I thought she was going to die sooner than she did. Yeah. So I, I had like a pretty good run, actually. There's some fan speculation that maybe she's not dead. Can you confirm or deny? <sighs> That's so hopeful and I love it. Um, I haven't heard anything. I'm going to say she's, she's cut in half and she's pretty dead. Yeah, pretty dead. What do you think the future holds, though, for her man and her father figure? Ooh. I would hope that Stan Edgar takes Zoe under his wing because she's at Red River now, which is just the opposite of where Newman wanted her to end up. So I would hope he would step in and save her. But it's a dark show, guys, so we don't know. Um, oh, Samir. Yeah, what's going to happen with Samir? I hope he doesn't lose any more limbs. That's just, like, just first and foremost. I really want him to keep all of his limbs. 55 million people have tuned into season four. What goes through your mind when you hear that number? Again, holy fuck. <laughs> um, it's surreal, but it's also amazing because you just see how much of a reach the show has, and, and that's... I mean, you want that for any project that you work on. You want, you want, you know, you want an audience to, to like it and to engage with it. And, and I think it's a great show and it's, been, it's got fantastic writers and, and just a brilliant creative in Eric Kripke. So I, you know, even if I wasn't on the show, I'd, I'd say I'd, I think it, it's, it deserves it. It's such a great show. Sometimes it feels like we're currently living in an episode of The Boys. What's your take on the way that the show somehow seems to predict real-life events? It's very surreal. Um, I would say that, that the show has always had social, has always made social commentary, and uh, and I think it it really holds a mirror up to the to the world that we're currently living in. I think it just does a really good job at that. Um, uh, I would say it's purely coincidental the things that have unfolded but um uh i don't know the show has always kind of skewed that way and it just so happens that it it kind of just mirrors reality yeah you guys got to announce the spinoff vot rising here today what are you excited to see in that show any single frame of that show i didn't know about it <laughs> i found out today so um i I cannot wait to watch that show. Even if I wasn't on this show, I, that sounds amazing. Jensen and Aya is, I cannot wait to watch that duo. Like that's, it's gonna be good. This is a historical spinoff. So I mean, that means we can go back in time for possible spinoffs. What's your pitch for a Victoria Newman spinoff? Maybe her college age, her coming up in politics. What do you think? Oh, wow. Um, younger. I want to see her like in her youth, like Red River days, when she's at the orphanage and not having a great time, and just like awkward teenage years, mixed with exploding heads. I think it's great. I think it's a good pitch.